Greetings Internet, this is Poser P, and I'm back now with part four of my tutorial series on how to program the Kurzweil PC3. Now, uh, so far we've been working on a virtual analog synth sound, and today I want to show you how to use setup mode to extend the capabilities of that uh, sound and to, to do things um, to be able to switch between, say, for instance, monophonic response and polyphonic response and, and some other things that are cool. So, first of all, uh, this is the sound from the uh, last tutorial, and I saved my changes. So, uh, this has two layers. It has um, filter frequency and cutoff, attack, decay, release, impact on sliders, and I also have an LFO, which is assigned to cutoff frequency that can be controlled either by aftertouch or by a slider or both at the same time. Okay, so in order to take advantage of all the controls that the PC3 has to offer and some of the cool things it can do, we want to put this program into a setup. So I'm going to go to setup mode, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start with 128, the default setup. So we're going to hit edit, okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to pick my program okay for this for this new setup now the nice thing about the default setup is the program is already assigned to play across all the keys so on my PC 361 I got the full key range there so so you don't have to worry about assigning a key range um, we're only going to do one zone uh, we're not going to deal with multiple zones or, or setting up zones or any of that today so uh, we'll leave this page as is now what I want to do is I want to be able to first of all um, turn on and turn off monophonic response. So right now, when I play multiple keys, you hear multiple keys. And uh, so I want to be able to uh, turn that on and off um, so that I can play only one key at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go first of all to the switch page, all right, or to this programmable switch pages, excuse me. Uh, and we're going to pick switch one. Okay. Um, in order to do this, we need to use two common MIDI CCs, 126 and 127, okay? Uh, 126, oh, I'm going to enter it here, is mono on. So this turns on monophonic response, okay? In order to send, or to do that, I think you just need to send a value above, one, uh, above 64, so I'm going to set this to 127. So when this switch is toggled on, it's going to send a value of 127, um, to MIDI CC 126. Um, the numbers here are kind of similar, so that might be confusing, but if you follow along, uh, you'll see that it all works out. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to send MIDI CC 127 a value of 127 to turn monophonic off. Okay, so... So let me turn monophonic on. You already heard it on there. Let me turn it off. I think you can hear that. Um, what I have going on right now is I can play chords. Now when I hit that switch, the PC3 only plays monophonically. Okay, so let's now uh, go to switch prog 2, or programmable switch 2. Um, this one is going to be a bit different. What I want to do with this switch is I want, want to be able to uh, turn on and off portamento. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to use MIDI CC65. Now, this MIDI spec says that 65 uh, is the, the destination to control portamento on and off. Um, even though it doesn't say it here now, uh, just, just know that that's the case. So let's go ahead and we'll send a value of 127 to turn portamento on. And for the off control, again, I'm going to pick MIDI CC65 and I'm going to send a value of 0. Okay, so right now I'm playing this sound, and I have monophonic on. There, I've turned on portamento, now I turned off portamento. So you can hear the effect of that, I think, uh, on the speakers here. Uh, or, I mean, on the, uh, on the uh, video here. Okay, so, uh, one of the things with the default setup is none of the sliders are assigned to anything by default. So when you're editing this setup, uh, when you start with setup 128, the default setup, you have to set up the slider. So um, let me stop mindlessly switching through pages here and find the slider pages. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Slider and slider 2. Okay, so let's go to the first slider page. Now, uh, if you remember, we we were working a program mode, so 
uh, we want the sliders, most of them, to send the same values that they are sending in program mode. So slider A, we want to send MIDI CC6. B, we want to send 13. C, we want to have sent 22. Uh, D, we want to have send MIDI 23. E is 24. Okay, now the nice thing about the PC3 is, uh, you can't see it on the video here, but the, 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 the MIDI um, CC numbers are actually silk screened below the sliders, so you know what they're what they're assigned to by default, which makes this a lot easier. Okay, so then let's see, 25 and then 26. Okay, so that takes us up through slider G, and now my sliders control the sound like we would expect. Okay. Now, slider H, I want to use this to control portamento time. Portamento time is defined in the C MIDI spec as CC number 5, um, which in many cases is actually more of a suggestion, especially this day and age of DAWs that use um, hardware controllers with lots of knobs and buttons. A lot of those CCs are being used for other things out there in the software world. But in, in hardware keyboard land, generally speaking, most, most keyboards respect MIDI CC5 as portamento time. So does the PC3, as it's even named as such here. So now, if I turn on portamento, my slider H controls the portamento time. So I can go from this to this. all in the same program, which is pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's see, I think that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.